Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Ultimate General American Revolution, a new game which recently entered Early Access and is available through Game Lab's website, The Developer. We are playing episode number three of our Let's Play series in this game, playing through the American 1775 campaign. And in the first episode, things went well. Uh, we advanced from Hartford, uh, with the bulk of our forces, and we were able to take Newport and Providence from the British, defeating small regiments in their stead. And then in, uh, I believe, toward the end of that episode, we also took Middleborough. So we kind of had control over the whole southern sort of coast here uh, in, in New England. The map hasn't expanded yet, but that's what we had all taken. The enemy was able to drive north and take Portsmouth and Leicester, but those were not as important because this sort of southern approach is all on one supply line, whereas Leicester and Portsmouth were somewhat isolated and also set us up for a drive on Boston. Now, we did have the problem that the British had two or 3,000 more men than we did at uh, Boston than we had at Middleborough, so we decided to strike out in a different direction. We decided to try and attack an isolated British force near Leicester of about 2,000 men. We advanced with about 2,300 men and soundly defeated the British, inflicting 1,500 casualties out of 1,900 total British forces. So we basically, we nearly annihilated that enemy army. In doing so, however, the enemy troops sort of scattered in multiple directions, some of them retreating toward Boston, but one or two regiments retreating toward Hartford. And so we had to chase after the troops at Hartford toward Hartford because Hartford was not garrisoned. And it is a very important city in this game for you. It's kind of your biggest, most important city in the early game for the Americans. So we chased out that way. We had one unit sort of slightly pursued toward Boston and another pursued all the way out here toward the southeast uh, and got kind of isolated. Now, that was a mistake because it did scatter our army in multiple directions. We were trying to garrison Leicester. We were trying to garrison, uh, well, at the time, I guess, Middleborough. And the enemy advanced from Boston in overwhelming force, took Middlesbrough. We withdrew toward Providence with our troops, took some casualties, but most of our forces made it out of there. And then we sort of had 800 men in the Snatsburg or Natsog Forest. We had about 500 men heading up toward Leicester about 500 men that we had raised at Hartford toward the end of that pursuit. And the enemy advanced uh, 600 men toward Newport, which is an important port city as well. So this situation is not great. The British are advancing on Providence. We've pulled most of the garrison out of there. Um, not all of it, but most of it. We've got about 600 men back here at Providence. We are advancing about 800 men south toward Newport with a strong British regiment to our front. And I, I wonder, what's the box here? Let's do this. And we are about to fight a battle against the British at, uh, at that are attacking Newport. But seeing as the enemy is already advancing on Providence, I think it makes sense to just try and get these boys into the battlefield here. Newport is being taken by the enemy. You can see this little progress bar here. But if I can get troops down there and get them into the battlefield before Providence falls. Okay, so it looks like Newport is literally just about to fall. I don't know if defeating them will stop that progress bar or if the retreat will kind of buy them time. But in theory, I at least have 450 reinforcements coming, plus the 800 troops that already outnumbered the British. Now, these are all militias, so in terms of qualitative senses, the British are much better than us. But if we can get the reinforcements there, we should outnumber them two to one. And quantity has a quality of its own. At least that's the saying. So let's see if we can defeat the British. I don't know if the defeat by itself will stop the progress bar on them taking Newport, because really, if it's like one more hour, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll lose the city, but in any event. All right, so we are on the battlefield here. We've got our initial six companies of troops. The enemy has soldiers that are... The, we have additional soldiers coming up, but they're not here yet. And I don't know how close... I don't think the enemy is super close. So let's go ahead and get these troops of ours into this wood line here to try and get a little bit of cover. 
because the enemy does have artillery. So we need every every advantage we can get. Falling back might actually be an option too, back toward this line over here, but there is an objective over here on the right, so I don't know if the enemy will be drawn to that. I really would like to see the game add click on defenses for these fence lines here, like it has an Ultimate General Civil War. That's different because all those scenarios are kind of pre-scripted, but it would be nice if you could gain, you know, defenses for the uh, the type of terrain that you're in, not just being like woodline, but also, um, you know, other things too. Trying to get into position quickly without getting too tired. Also, we're going to choose the hold option, which will increase our cover, which I think is going to be really important for these militia because, I mean, the enemy soldiers are much better in terms of quality. So two companies against one of ours, that is no bueno. We're going to have to figure out a way to hold there. Three companies against two of ours. Also, not a good situation to have. Looks like one of those enemy companies did withdraw. The enemy does have artillery, but it appears to just be 25 men. So I think it's one gun. Also, fun. We I was looking at the, the stockpile between, uh, between fights here, and the enemy does apparently... Uh, we did apparently capture an enemy gun. Where's my character? Get up there. So we captured an enemy six pound gun in our in our previous fight against them. It's pretty neat. It's a useful thing to have. All right, so I can't really tell. It looks like we actually have a pretty... Con oh, God, what did I just... My mouse button just got bumped. Um, oh, I was going to say, it looks like we've got a pretty considerable manpower advantage, but that's because our other our other regiment here, 450 more men just arrived. Meanwhile, we've got all our boys engaged here, kind of at long range, volleying away. Hoping that the cover for us, the enemy probably doesn't have any cover. I'm assuming this is a zero cover situation. They don't even look like they're in the hold formation. They don't have their front rank kneeling, which is what holding does. These guys have cover on the right flank. I really wish it told you kills and deaths for this specific battle. It is very difficult to assess how things are going when you don't have that. We do know the enemy has considerably more firepower than us per unit. Doesn't really tell me this, but I, I think they've got like five uh, firearms. Sort of, what do you call it? If we go here and we click on this and it says melee is like five or firearms is five and like melee is five. So like they're considerably like five times better than us. But when our troops are sitting at 51% and 49% cover and even 35 and... 39 and the enemy might be at zero because they're in open ground. I'm hoping that is enough to turn the tide. Meanwhile, I've got 450 reinforcements that are on their way up. They are coming in here, but they are going to be tired. I'm going to try and move them out of the enemy flank. If they arrive and my line hasn't cracked yet, then I, I think we're in good shape. Morale of our troops seems to still be... Well, the left flank unit here is not doing great. Probably because they've got at least two enemy companies shooting at them. But the other units here, I think they're, they're holding up okay. Hmm... I'm going to try and charge this unit here. Our troops conditioning is getting bad sort of on the on the line as they 
you know, they're constantly fire fighting. Morale's starting to be a little bit of a concern on that, f that left flank. So if we can break sort of this, it's kind of in the center enemy company that we can turn pitch right into the enemy flank or at least maybe draw their fire away from our 200 troops here in these two companies one of my units that I charged with does not have good conditioning but this unit under Ross McNutt looks looks more promising there you go they routed him Looking pretty heavy losses on the enemy as they route. All right, all right. We broke the, the flank unit here too, and so the enemy is routing. I guess the enemy's decided to retreat. Pursue them. This is where having some artillery would be nice. I don't think I can... Yeah, my officer can't really charge there. It'd be great if we could catch that enemy artillery, though, and destroy it. So we, we're going to win a victory here, but the bulk of the enemy is going to escape. By the looks of it. I didn't quite get those 450 men into the enemy flank. I think we will catch and, and probably either capture or destroy that enemy artillery piece. Also, for what it's worth, um, Providence, which is... Is that the one that the enemy's approaching right now? Has 118 enemy POWs working as sort of forced labor there in the event that the enemy... Um, retakes that they get they they liberate those pow's you can't transfer pow's at this time to another city Did we get the guns at least? We did. Nice. I didn't, it looks like the uh, gun is just abandoned. I don't see the option to take it, but let's go ahead and uh, accept the victory back to the global map. You can see 1,200 men deployed for us, 540 enemy units deployed. Um, it doesn't say they lost a gun, but if we go here, the artillery unit is... It doesn't say it was destroyed either. That's confusing because they clearly overran it. Artillery here, light damage. I don't understand that. That doesn't reflect what we see on the battlefield there. But 234 casualties. So the enemy lost a little bit less than half of its force. We lost about 133 men. Get a nice little victory there. They won't be able to garrison uh, Providence, so we should be able to take it back from them fairly easily. I don't know what direction they're going to retreat. If if this, or not Providence, um, Newport, yep. Looks like they took Newport. So we're going to try and get our troops back into the garrison there. We'll leave one of the companies to, to move south to try and retake Newport. I was hoping that if we were to re-garrison Newport with our general, it would cause the, the game would be like, actually, the British are going to turn around. Rather than, you know, fight us for it. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Less of a, less of a good situation here. So 150, about 600 men here in the city. The enemy is bringing over 1,000 to bear. Actually, 1,600 to bear versus 
1,200 of our own plus 400 enemy reinforcements and quite a bit of enemy artillery. I need to get reinforcements there. Is this the whole enemy force? Is the 474? Yeah, that's there. That's the reinforcements. So maybe if we pause and let our other troops come up, we can buy enough time. Okay. So now it's 13, 1600 still. There's a lot less. I don't know if any of those other troops are on the way. Why are you running away? I hate the way your general moves on the strategic map. Oh, great. They're already routed and retreating. Just great. Okay. Is there anything we can do to save Providence? It is a very important city. It looks like it's lost for sure. Troops are treating to Leicester. 500 reinforcements that were supposed to be coming up from Hartford. Nowhere to be seen. I think everybody's retreating to Leicester. I don't know why those... I thought I pulled those troops up from Hartford. But it doesn't look like it. Why would our general take that path? Hey, McNutty. Get out of there. There you go. All right, so... Butch's boy's problem is, despite outnumbering an enemy force that's half their size, they have no ammo because they've been constantly fighting. Newport already fell, so we lost... We're losing Providence. We lost Newport. Murray's boys are just stuck out there. I can't really do anything about it. All right, so Donovan's boys are routed at least. Lost Newport. Now the question is, what do you do, right? Like, we are split in two. We've got Leicester and Hartford. We're basically back to the starting point. Who's shooting at someone? For the game. This is effectively back to what we, what we started with. More troops, but in terms of the, the towns and cities that we hold, Leicester... Hartford with no Providence or Newport. Someone's fighting. Oh, it's got to be Murray over here. So I don't know the total strength of the British after these battles. They've suffered a couple of defeats, which I, I like to think would, would weaken them, but if companies aren't destroyed, then they can just draw reinforcements I believe I don't think any of our officers were killed here thank god because we don't have any these guys really need a freaking rest we don't have any um, replacement officers at the moment Lester has way more men than I would like but I don't want to give it up. It doesn't really matter as much as Providence and Newport do, but I'm not really ready to surrender it. We'll let those boys sort of rest and refit there for a little bit. Some of these guys need more, need reinforcements. It's a small town though with limited resources. You can see here it is gaining reinforcements. 
Meanwhile, the Fusiliers are going to pull from the 380 so recruits we've got at Hartford to reinforce themselves. We are missing some guns here, so we do need some more guns. We've got three pound galloper guns here. Let's go ahead and go into the market, go into cannons. You can see we've got one six pound field gun, which we took from the British. There are apparently 19 galloper guns that we can buy in the black market. We're going to buy nine of them for about four grand. And then we can use that to outfit those, uh, those soldiers here in Steve Neiman Stevens regiment. And then we also have another artillery unit up here, a militia regiment and Trevor Knowles unit up at Leicester. So all told, we got about 3,400 troops if we were able to consolidate our force, which might be enough to, to retake Providence. We, we should consider it. Uh, we did lose some prestige or reputation for losing that battle. If we go to where is it, the colony management section here, we are still working on construction doctrine in Rhode Island, which we lost Providence, so I don't I don't know what we're doing there. We have nothing left there. And Hartford, we've we're working on training. Hopefully that'll help improve the quality of the troops we've got there. Meanwhile, I have an order to construct a recruitment house in Hartford. I think we can do that. It'll help draw more reinforcements, which is going to be important. Okay. Did these guys get re get re no, the ammo is low on all of that. Can I buy ammo? Ammunition here. It says we've got 82 in storage, but I'm going to spend $12,000 on a bunch of ammo because we need it. Um, all right. Also, we're going to need more civilian muskets before too long. We do actually have 254 Charleville 77s, which are decent weapons. And actually, we've captured 241 brown besses. So it's not enough to equip like a whole unit with them, a whole regiment, but it is enough to start upping the general quality of our soldiers. So I'm spending all of my money on guns. Can't really afford that. But let's do this. These are let's get some of our better companies here. Let's give them some better weapons. So these companies max out at 150 men. Wait, I'm confused. 120, 50, 50, 50. So this is the total authorized strength is 120, I think. They currently have 58. So we can give two units of them Brown best 69s, and then they can they'll be able to draw enough reinforcements to equip the whole the whole company with it. So 240 brown besses would be required for the second Connecticut. And then I'd like to try and keep weapons sort of standardized across a regiment. Wait a minute. What did I just do? All right. So Charleville here, Charleville here. So the first two companies in the sixth Connecticut are going to be equipped with Charlevilles. And the first two companies in the second Connecticut. Wait, what did I do? Did I have to apply it? Yeah, I was not hitting the apply button. All right, so the first two companies in the 6th Connecticut will be equipped with Charlevilles. The first two companies in the 2nd Connecticut will be equipped with Brown Besses. And so that should also improve the, the quality of our regular troops there with much better guns. We do need to give them some time to sort of rest and refit.
They should have enough artillery here, too. Every time I hear that gunfire, I get nervous that they're attacking Lester, but it doesn't look like it to me at the moment. Murray's boys are going to be destroyed. Like, I don't... Don't know what's going on there. Am I going to get more money, by the way? Uh, see here, financing 3,200. Sea trade 318. Army expenses 1900, fleet 80, maintenance 16. Did we lose our ship, by the way, when we lost Provident Newport? It would appear so, although it says we have a fleet, so. I'm not sure. In any event. Oh, so that income's going down? So our army expenses are going up as we uh, as we get new recruits. Okay. So not enough muskets. What what don't we have enough muskets for? How do we have no Charleville? Where did the other ones go? Kind of confused here. It doesn't seem like there's a one-to-one. -one unless some other unit is drawing them away. Guess we'll do that just so at least we've got one unit with a full arsenal. Maybe I was reading the screen wrong. In any event, we'll have two companies in the army with good weapons. So finances are not in good shape. 2,400 army expense, 3,500. There's some construction and production expenses, which are things I was not really accounting for. Is this a daily thing or a weekly thing? Or what's the, let's see what happens here as time accelerates a bit. I need a graph and a ledger. I'm going to have to cut salaries a bit. Yeah. All right. Um, our troops in Connecticut found a smuggler's rum warehouse near the city. We can sell the cargo or transfer it to the city for free. I'm sure many residents will be delighted with such a gift. Nope. I'm going to take the hit on loyalty to give me three grand because I need it. I badly need money. Not enough money. Yes. Well, we should have enough money now. 1300 what kind of I don't understand also it's very realistic to not have enough money is the revolution that is that is a hundred percent a problem that Washington pretty much always had was not enough money but you can see here this dramatically influences I don't know if this is morale or just efficiency of the troops You'd think the next day our money problem would at least temporarily go away. Yeah. All right, Patriot Resource what Network. All right, so these guys have money. Some of them don't have enough muskets. And again, I didn't hit apply. Oh, so we don't have civilian muskets. Great. 
Well, at least one of the uh, companies is fully equipped. The other one's about short 40 men. So these guys, that unit's pretty much fully equipped. This unit is still working on getting back to full strength. But yeah, I think we're about ready to move again. Let's go ahead and send our general out on a scouting mission because we badly need to get... I need more money is frankly what I need. Question is, what's the best way to do that? Ooh, there's a raising funds option. You'll have to visit Congress to obtain additional funding. I'd also like more officers so I can raise more troops, but... So if I do this... I'm curious. So I just replaced that. Is this par partially res researched? It is. Okay, good. So you do not lose your progress on something you've been researching for a while if you switch it out with another project, it would appear. So I'm going to go ahead and raise funds. I need more money. I need Congress to give me more money. Um, so let's do that. In the meantime, let's also reduce the pay of our soldiers. I know they're not going to like it. It is going to hurt our morale a bit. But, and we're going to lower the bounty a tad too. I think this is back to what the bounty started at. All right, so we're going to slash salaries. And we're going to go ahead and uh, have our general leave. And why don't you go scout what the enemy has here? So go go tell us what's out this way. Can we bring, you know, 4,100 troops and overwhelm the Redcoats somewhere? This stuff hasn't changed, I believe, due to fog of war. Okay, so it looked like they had about 1,200 to 1,300 men at Providence. They've got about 700 at Newport. Those are numbers we can defeat. For sure. And they're pursuing my general. If they want to pursue him all the way back to Hartford, I'd be okay with that. They're still fighting Murray out here in eastern Massachusetts. But yeah, if they want to send 600 men uh, after me, if I can... What's this? More rum? Just keep giving me cash, guys. Alright, Creeks and France are entering into an alliance. If they're gonna pursue me, they will get tired. Oh. They're gonna turn around? They're only gonna pursue a certain distance? Is this... This feels gamey. Just be like... Hey guys, just kidding. Don't you wanna don't you wanna pursue me? Do we think they're maybe too tired and maybe we can catch them? No, they're pulling back. I don't think I can... I didn't get them close enough. I'm going to pull these 150 troops under Evans down here to Hartford to garrison that town. All of my regiments which have artillery should not be sitting in garrisons. They should be part of my main force, which I use to move around and fight battles. I'm going to try and make a strike back to retake Providence and Newport. Especially while the enemy is diverted with some amount of troops facing... This, is, this has got to be a bug. Like, the Pennsylvania militia over there should not just be casually sitting around 
on the East Coast, nor, nor do I think they would survive for this long either. Let's see here. This will get me to about 1,800 troops with Stevens. And then Howell, where are you going, Howell? So I have about 2,300 troops with artillery support that'll be able to attack Providence. We may need to pause for a moment as the fatigue is going to be a bit concerning. The, the conditioning is going to be not great. We'll keep the 1,800 men at Leicester. If I outnumber Providence by 1,000 men, I think that should be more than sufficient. I think a brigade can have up to three regiments. I don't think you can have a fourth, but we'll see. Ideally, every brigade has artillery support. Right, so are these guys going to get conditioning back if I just let them sit here? Looks like it. Okay. All right. Let's advance on Providence. They may pull 600 troops up, which would even the odds considerably up from Newport. We'll see. I hate the way that your units spread out. Like, just give me one stack. Let me have an army be one stack of soldiers. All right, so we have a pretty comfortable advantage in terms of manpower. So I'm going to let, I'm going to see how this plays out. Especially since we've got some regulars in this battle. Charge of their regulars against them, outnumbering them three to one. Again, my general should not just be like running away because he lost a few men. All right, so this first enemy regiment is in trouble. I don't know. I've never really see units get totally destroyed on the strategic map, at least not redcoats. All right, let's charge Providence here. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I, I want to try and win this before enemy reinforcements show up and we outnumber them like three to one, four to one. Meanwhile, these guys are still off here fighting. My boys are exhausted, but we did manage to rout Ross's regiment. Don't retreat, Butch. I need you. Hey, we got some foreign aid. $700. And some reputation for building whatever it is we just built. So we really didn't win a decisive victory at all. We were able to take Providence, or we're in the process of taking it. We inflicted about 200 casualties on each enemy regiment, maybe a little less than that, actually. But Providence will be ours. However, the enemy is going to have, you know, 1,800 men just south of us. Now, Middleborough is not heavily garrisoned. So the enemy must have left a lot of troops in Boston. We're going to bring an extra 450 men south here from Leicester. 
I'm going to leave at least a thousand men in the garrison there. I'm worried that they will just, you know, overrun us there if we leave the garrison too light like we did at Providence before. But we'll get these guys back into Providence itself. Let them rest, draw some supplies, and then we can drive south on Newport. Hartford at least has a garrison, which is good. Uh, we need to produce 100 muskets and construct production infrastructure in Hartford. So... I don't really know, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do there. I really don't have the cash to spend, like, the free cash to do that anyway. So it looks like there's still 138 men of ours battling against 600 enemy troops out here south of Middleborough. Our boys are also starving. They have no, almost no provisions. We get more ammo for our boys here. Ammunition's not great. But we'll have... We'll outnumber the enemy for our drive on Newport. Uh, but that would also require largely abandoning Providence. But I think that's okay. If I can destroy an 1,800-man garrison down here, I think that's worthwhile. So we didn't really see another tactical battle in today's episode, but we will likely... See one in the forthcoming one. I don't think we're going to fight with only... With over 40 minutes into this video here. Headquarters, six days till raising funds goes through. I have a chief of engineers that I can't assign because we have no... No officers to assign. So I'm thinking once raising funds is done, we may want to jump into officer recruitment... I know Continental Army is really important, but I can't do anything without officers. So I get two more officers. I can assign one to be our engineer. And it would be great to win another battle where we can, like, obliterate a considerable enemy force. Because 1,800 men is not nothing. Like, the British, what we saw a couple episodes ago was they had, like, a total of eight or maybe around 10,000 troops sort of up here. We haven't seen any reports of major enemy reinforcements. Now, I believe they can still repair their losses, but we did destroy at least six companies in the Battle of Leicester. So, I mean, that could be north of a 1,000 men lost permanently to them without, without reinforcements coming in. I think we saw 500 come in after that. But my hope is that they're weaker than they were before, and if we can take out another 2,000, it may start to even the odds for us a bit in the, in the campaign. With that being said, guys, we've been going for almost 45 minutes here, so I am going to wrap this up. I hope you guys had a nice Thanksgiving if you are in the U.S. and you celebrate that. Um, and if not, I do want to thank you all for tuning in for yet another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. That's going to do it for us today. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'm out.